Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot. So I just wanted to quickly talk about the update of the Lynx R1 VR AR headset which took place this past week via a live stream from Stan Laroc at the Lynx offices in Paris. And there were a couple of things which stood out to me during this live stream which I think is worthwhile watching, especially if you're a Kickstarter backer of the project of course. But the first thing was about 12 minutes into the stream where Stan showed a pre-recorded demo of the improvements in software colour correction and calibration of the pass-through image. It was quite a stark difference in the side-by-side -side old and new footage which was shown, with the colour improvements really apparent. The image was brighter and more consistent without the more noticeable dimming and fading which would happen previously. You can see in this footage here how much better the overall image quality of the pass-through feed appears on the right, and this was something which Stan actually mentioned to Sebastian from MRTV and I on our visit last year. Before we even put the links on to demo, he spoke about the calibration being something that they were actively working on at that time, and I remember seeing very much what is being shown here on the left, with shadows and colour vibrancy not being quite right. I still felt it was a good pass through feed overall, but I didn't have a lot to compare it to at that time, and I did notice the dimming and brightening of the display as the cameras reacted to the overhead lights. In fact, here's some footage which we recorded while I was wearing the headset last year, and you can see the inconsistency in the lighting as I move around during this demo. So having that experience of using the older pass-through colour calibration and then seeing this improvement, I've got to say it's far more of an improvement than, than I thought we'd be getting. I thought they'd simply prevent such harsh dimming of the display as we moved, but it looks far better than that to me. But as always, we'll see how much of a practical improvement that is once we get our Kickstarter units in a few months. Also, later in the live stream, Stan did a live demo of the pass-through with user interface being displayed. I actually think this part showed even better how the colour correction has improved the experience, and also demonstrated the value of pass-through AR at this time. The floating interface and hand tracking looked rock solid as Stan walked around the office in 6 degrees of freedom, and having used Magic Leap 1 previously, this is something which is still a way off in optical AR solutions. Synchronising the pass-through feed with the digital objects being overlaid allows for a completely stable and solid appearance. And while I still hope for optical AR solutions eventually, and I'm sure they will arrive, my experience with the Magic Leap 1 showed what is and what is impossible, at least on that hardware, which, to be fair, is a few years old now. But the fundamental limitations of optical AR versus pass-through might be too much for the former to ever give the kind of experience we're seeing here. Then again, these pass-through type of AR solutions probably still have their own obstacles to overcome when it comes to mass consumer adoption. If optical AR ever gets to the form factor of glasses, then it's easy to see a future where they replace something like mobile phones or laptops or tablets, but pass-through might never get to that point because of their presumably more bulky form factor. But if you read articles by Carl Gutag, then it's possible to believe it's pretty much going to be impossible to get to a glasses type of form factor for an AR device with any display technology currently known. But that's probably going further than the scope of this video. I just wanted to highlight these pass-through improvements and I'm still really looking forward to receiving my Kickstarter backed unit in the next few months. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.